The designers of the super bomb gave it a very Russian name, Ivan. It equaled 50 million tons of TNT, or one million train boxcars loaded with explosives, 2,500 times the power of the bomb that leveled Hiroshima. The bomber had a special coating to protect it from the heat wave. The enormous bomb had to be fixed to the belly of the plane. It was too big for the bomb bay. The explosion took place at an altitude of 15,000 feet. It had to be that high. At that altitude, the fireball did not touch the ground. It sucked in less soil, diminished radioactive contamination of the atmosphere. A 5,400-square-foot parachute would delay its fall. The bomber needed time to get away. These cameras were 60 miles from the epicenter. We were in the devil's jaws, the pilots said. The leg of the mushroom cloud was six miles wide. The radioactive fireball reached an altitude of 40 miles above the surface of the Earth. The explosion was beautiful, if I may say so as a scientist. The shock wave of the monstrous explosion traveled a thousand miles. It broke windows in Norway and Finland. These pictures were taken 500 miles from the epicenter. But then the scientists had the most monstrous idea of all. 